Did you buy your future bride a new home? No. No. Okay. No. Did you buy your new bride a new car? I did not. What, what is she getting out of this not. deal? I don't know. What is she getting out of all this? <laughs> oh, sorry. What's up, everyone? Today's an exciting day. I get to be in a wedding. Ah, let me readjust this. How's my hair? Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video. Because if you don't, I'll be stuck in America forever. And I can't come back to China. Today's gonna be a really cool day. One of my best friends is getting married. You may remember him from a few of my videos. So today I'm gonna show you from my perspective, the groomsman, the American wedding experience. And one of the biggest differences is gifts. So I'm just gonna show you this right here. Here's my friends, Alex Kwan, and they set up this website, which means no hongbao. Now, I kind of like the Chinese method of hongbao because it's simple and it's easy for the new couple just to buy what they want, what they need. But in the US, they often set up these websites and registries, choose all the things they want. And being the procrastinator that I am, I have not bought a gift yet. So let's see what they have on their registry. Got all kinds of stuff here. So the blender, scuba certification, PlayStation, Muji funds for their new home. I can buy them a subscription to Adobe, a spice rack, an oven. I could buy them an oven. That's too big to bring. A hammock, these are great to have when you're traveling. Wow, they really like hammocks. But as you can see here, already gifted means someone bought it. So if I want to, I have to get the hammock bug net for $75. Maybe the Adobe subscription would be a good gift. Honestly, there's not a lot of gifts here. Um, and that's because there's probably not gonna be as many people as you might see at a Chinese wedding which we're gonna talk about after I go and get ready for the wedding. I got my suit, gonna go meet the groom and the groomsmen. We're gonna get ready and then uh, head down to the wedding. Okay, here he is, the star. You probably recognize him from I Such films as Beijing, Brothers. Beijing Bikini. T <laughs> <laughs> minus two, two hours, hours to go. Are you freaking out right now? No, I'm not freaking out. Super excited. He's not freaking out. Well, freaking out. Question of the day mm. Did you buy your future bride a new home? No. No. Okay. No. Did you buy your new bride a new car? I did not. They see me rolling. What, what is she getting out of this deal? I don't know. What is she getting out of all this? I better have a talk with her. There's still two hours to go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get down to the wedding, get you married, and then we're gonna dance the night away. Yeah. All right. Up here is where the groomsmen get ready. That's where I should be. And up here, that's where all the bridesmaids will be getting ready. Some people believe if the bride and the groom, if they see each other on the day of the wedding before they get married, that it's bad luck. I know there's some things in China that are also bad luck, but I can't remember. So leave me a comment below, let me know what they are. This is our little groom station. We got changing rooms, pool table, got football to watch, got air hockey. What don't we have here? To find somebody who is equally as genuine and loving and truthful and all that they do as Modern Brothers is a rare and special combination. So they have the 
obvious thing you'll see behind me is the, the size of the wedding. Now, I've been to a few weddings in China, and it's usually like 200 or 300 people. But here, we're talking maybe 100 guests, at most 150. This can be an advantage or disadvantage, depending on how you view homebound. Dance party, we've got to end the night with a dance party, so I'm going to go out and show you my moves. Not really. We're not going to show that. I don't want you to see me dance. So that's about it for today's video. They're still inside, dancing the way. I'm tired. But let me know what you think about these differences below and point out some differences that maybe I missed. It's always fun to talk about these cross-cultural differences, so I want to know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Watch your back and I'll share it.